to the elites, that he will always cave to corporate greed. And Canadians pay for it every time we pay our bills, buy our groceries, or pay the rent. Justin Trudeau has let Canadians down. And Canadians are done with his endless disappointment and delay. Trudeau's Liberals can't deliver change. They are too weak and too selfish to stop Pierre Polyev and the Conservatives. And let me be clear. And let me be clear. Who says that? To worse. Whose line is let me be clear? Oh yeah, Christine Freebazer. From young people, from patients, from families, in order to give more to big corporations and wealthy CEOs. He will pour fuel on the fire of corporate greed. It will be a free-for-all for the rich and powerful, with no one standing between the greedy giants and the rest of us. He will cut and gut Medicare as we know it. Not only will he cancel dental care, which is now giving millions of families and seniors. Okay, I got to put that on pause because let me be clear. Okay, this guy is the NDP leader, Jagmeet Singh. He is pro-labor, uh, okay, this and that. And he sat behind Justin Trudeau last week. Uh, well, they uh, forced the uh, CP and the CN workers back to work with legislation. Okay, this guy's a clown. He thinks uh, by uh, separating ties with the Liberal government that his party's going to get uh, more seats. It's not going to happen at all. Okay, he's losing seats. That's why he's trying to break away from the Liberal government. But will he call for an election? That's the big thing. And I highly doubt he's going to because they're so broke it ain't a joke, okay? And they don't have the money to, to, to force him to an election. So don't expect an election. He's just severing ties. The facts of working people. There's a battle ahead of us. The fight for the Canada of our dreams. The fight against Pierre Polyev and his callous agenda of conservative cuts. The fight to restore hope. This guy couldn't fight his way out of a wet paper bag. Working hard gets you a good life. He said he grew up in Windsor, my area, my neck of the woods, and he said he was beat on a daily. He's so full of shit. I notify the Prime Minister that I have ripped up the supply and confidence in And then I find out he lived in Lakeshore, the ritzy part outside of Windsor. To be the next Prime Minister of this country. Yeah, okay, buddy. And I'm going to be the king of fucking England. Where's Brian Massey? I don't see his fucking pumpkin in there. Longest leading NDP MP in history of the party, and he's not even there. Because, friends, in the next federal election, Canadians will get to choose between Paul Yav's conservative cuts or the hopeful future that new Democrats can bring. The future Paul Yav wants is mean and small, but Canadians are not. Yes, yeah, Stephen, you're right. I've heard from so many of you. The unions are uh, pro NDP, but uh, with this breaking of uh, no striking for the real workers, and this guy sided with who? The Liberals. Hope that Canada's middle class will once again thrive together. Hope that this generation and the next will be able to afford a home of their own. Hope that we can stop grocery greed from ripping you off and bring down prices. Hope that health care will be there when you and your family need it. Like many of you, all my life I've been told it can't be done. Cynics will say Canada has never had an NDP government. It's not going to happen. 
They will attack us for taking on the powerful, for getting in the... Pause that again. So the last government, the liberals ran on dope, okay, and they used the marijuana to vote, okay, to try and prop up the party, and they ended up getting in. This guy's using hope. We believe in lifting each other up, not tearing each other down. We're a nation of people who take care of our neighbors. We're a nation of builders. We're a nation of believers. We will not let them tell us it can't be done. The fucking brain dead. Can you hear it all right, folks? It's the people's time now. It's so empty, this this party is so empty and shallow. It's a joke. You're right, Ray Gerard. And I don't know what he's saying. He's speaking Russian. Or is that Hindi? But will the first question be, will you support an election in the fall? And that's what I'm waiting to hear. I don't think he's going to because they don't have the money to run. They're just blowing smoke to try and win some by-elections. He's saying everything just said in French. French, Russian, Hindi, it don't matter to me. It's all the same shit. I don't understand it. Look at the Amazon girl next door to him, standing next to him. Sings a big dude. He's six foot two. That, that woman towers him. We could pause that. We don't need to listen to that shit. Matteo, listen to this guy. He's running on hope. The last, the liberals ran on dope. We're out of hope and we're out of dope. Oh, he's still speaking, still speaking Russian. And we don't care what Quebec thinks, by the way. Quebec don't run the rest of the country. And the Quebecois party out there. Shut up and get to the questions. No, because if you vote, we'll pause it. We don't need to hear this. If you vote NDP, you're voting for liberal. And if you vote liberal, you're voting for NDP. Okay, they're a coalition. We've just seen it. This guy's had the power to call for an election. Okay, in the last three years, he hasn't. So we're the last year running and we're going into an election anyways next October. So there's only 365 more free meals for uh, uh, times out by three, by the way. So that's 1,050 free meals for Justin Trudeau and this clown here. He has his pension waiting on the line. He's got too much to lose. He's just trying to... Uh, 
bring up his caucus, okay, and that the caucus is the people standing behind him right now, okay, and everybody that holds a seat, they know they're going to lose their seats if something's not done. This is the reason we have Trudeau in power right now. They shut the fuck up and start answering questions and making me mad. If Jack Layton was alive today, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> he was the only NDP guy that I really liked was Jack Layton, and he passed away. And he probably would have been a leader. He'd probably still be leading his party today if he was still alive. The carbon tax needs to go. It should never have been. Okay, answer some questions, bitch. Clapping like seals. Did he say bon appetit? I know what that means. Yum yum. Yeah, Jack, Jack, Jack was the real deal. If he knew Canadian politics 15 years ago, Jack was making uh, lots of headway for the NDP, and he was a man of the people, and I believed in Jack Layton, I did, and I'm not an NDP guy. Uh, he was a, a man of the people. He was a worker. But this guy here, oh my God. Even the one before him, what was his name? Uh, loudmouth. Brutal, 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 brutal party. This is the reason why Canada has the Liberals running and we have this carbon tax and all the, all the crap that's going on in, in, in Canada today. You can blame this guy. He's still speaking Russian. This is what they do, eh? Because the majority of Canada speaks English, period. The majority of Canada, 80% of Canada, 85% of Canada speak English. The minority is the French. And they'll run into a... Running into the French language so that uh, people are more or less so... Uh, he's speaking in French. We don't know what he's saying. I know he's saying the same thing he was probably saying in English. But he'll run his mouth in French now for about an hour. Oh, and, and the biggest thing about this guy is that he supports Palestinians, okay, Palestinians, and they're in a an Indian group that's designated terrorists. And they, actually, they have, uh, what do we say, uh, camps here in Canada where they fire off their weapons and do all kinds of crazy shit like terrorists do. <laughs> and this guy's behind them. And he's not allowed in his home country of birth. Uh, Ina will handle the questions. Oh, questions. Will you call for an election? <laughs> Oh, we'll blow it up. Look at the look on his eyes, on his face. Thank you for the question. Uh, we, we've got a lot done. We've got some important things that we completed. 
but it became very clear to me that Justin Trudeau is too beholden to corporate interests to go further. Unwilling to stop for big corporations that are ripping off Canadians. And so I ripped up the supply and confidence agreement with Justin Trudeau. And we know that that makes the election timing more uncertain and frankly more likely. And we know that the next election is going to be about a choice, a very important choice for Canadians, between Pierre Polyev, who wants to destroy our healthcare system, tear it down, or New Democrats, who want to fix our healthcare system, build it up for people. That's an important choice, and that's the choice we're making to Canadians. We can see the same thing as well. Yes, yes. So, we've done a lot of things. We need to have this up. Mais c'était vraiment clair que Justin Trudeau n'a eu pas le courage de faire face aux grandes entreprises qui exploitent les gens. Et les gens méritent plus. Donc euh, on a décidé de déchirer notre entente parce qu'on a besoin de plus des actions pour arrêter ces grandes entreprises qui arnaquent les gens. Et donc euh, on sait que ça veut dire que maintenant euh, le timing pour une élection est, est incertain. Et on est prêt parce que la prochaine élection va être un choix entre les conservateurs de Pierre Poliev qui veut couper notre système de santé. He's so full of shit, he's not going to call an election. Démolir notre système de santé ou les néo-démocrates qui veulent travailler ensemble avec les provinces pour régler notre système de santé et renforcer. He could take his supply chain pact he had with the liberal government and destroy it, but you'll still have confidence in them. Watch. Well, we were very clear that we were able to get some important things done. Dental care, pharma care. But it's also clear that Justin Trudeau and the Liberals were unwilling to stop big corporations from ripping off Canadians. And we saw the effect of that. They more than ever for groceries. And it became very clear that Justin Trudeau and the Liberals were unwilling to do what's necessary to stop... The guy behind him in the blue shirt does not have a happy face. So That's a frown. And now it really sets up the question for the next election. The next election is going to be about a choice. A choice between Pierre Poilievre, who wants to let his corporate buddies rip you off even more, jack up your rents, and make you pay even more when you go to buy your Yeah, okay, buddy. Or Democrats, who want to save you money, save you when it comes to buying your groceries and your rent. That's a choice of the next election. Justin Trudeau, Chateau Canada. Another French bullshit. The big question is, will you support a, a non-confidence vote in two weeks? Either you're with them or you're not. But don't worry, if they don't ask the questions, Fichy will. Because you know Polyev is going to call for a vote of non-confidence. That guy in the back, you don't look very happy. Look at his face. That's a frown. We tore up the agreement with Justin Trudeau. We know that that means that an election now is, is, is more likely than before. And we've accomplished a lot together. It was important work, but it became very clear to me that Justin Trudeau and the Liberals were far too weak to stop big corporations from ripping off people. And people deserve more. And we know now that that sets up a question for the election. A choice between Pierre Poilievre, who has made it clear that he will allow his corporate buddies to rip off Canadians even more. That means higher prices at the grocery till, that means higher rents for corporate landlords. Or us, New Democrats, who want to I hope this guy loses his fucking seat. Call for an election, tough guy. That's a choice for the next election. Like, this is in Toronto, not fucking Quebec City. Shut up with the French. And I'm French, Léo Laurent Lucier. And I'm telling you to shut up with the French, you fucking idiot. Et 
ce qui est clair pour la prochaine élection, je sais que les libéraux sont trop faibles pour faire face aux conservateurs. He's, if he calls for one, he'll lose his pension first off, okay, because he's not going to gain his seat. Pour cette bataille, pour cette lutte, He's, he's got a million, two million dollar pension coming to him. If he stays in. One week longer than the next election. So that's why they were trying to get the elections further ahead by a week, which has never been done. That was the only reason to try and save this guy's pension. Sure. When I think about the supply and confidence agreement, I think about two people and, and what it means to those two folks. That to me is something I keep in my heart. I think about Brianna, my mom of five kids, who was able to get each of her kids a, dent, a visit to the dentist for the first time in their life. And I met her kids at a park in Edmonton. And I can tell you her kids were happier and healthier because of that visit. I think about Susan, who insists I call her... He's so full of shit. A mother of five that never had any dental plan. If she was hurting and couldn't afford it, social services would have taken care of that, Bill. the aftermath of that lost her teeth. And that she wanted her smile back. And if her kid's never seen a dentist, five kids, that's because she's a lazy bitch and never went through the channels. I think about Sue and I think about Brianna. And millions of people like that that have gotten support because we fought for them. But I also know that Sue and Brianna need a lot more, and that this Liberal government is not willing to do that, that Justin Trudeau is simply not willing to stop big corporations from ripping them off. And that's why we made this decision. It is clear that the Liberals and Justin As his brother's a, a CEO of fucking, not Loblaws, but one of them. No frills. And we know that this sets up a potential for a more likelihood of an election, and that election is gonna come down to a choice. Pierre Polyev is going to let his buddies rip you off even more. He's going to let big corporate grocery stores rip you off even more. Well, we'll see. Call for an election. We'll see if that happens. And if it does, well, we'll deal with fucking Pierre Polyev. There he goes. What riding, Steve? Are you or uh, or Scott? You're running. You saying? Oh, look at him! It paused. Scott Sachi, where are you running? What uh, are you running? Windsor West? Are you in this area? Whoever wants to run for Windsor West, let me know. I'll get behind it. Oh, he gets his pension in February 24. 2025. That's why he's not going to call for an election. Et je sais que Justin Trudeau n'a pas prêt à faire ce qu'il faut pour arrêter les grandes entreprises d'arnaquer Sue et Brianna et les autres personnes à faire avec lui. Donc ça, c'est pourquoi on a décidé de déchirer... It's making me very sick to my stomach to even watch this dog shit. Really. You expect a spring election. Too late. Don't even waste their time. Let it run. That's when Polly has said, oh, no, fuck, fuck the spring election. We'll let it run. Let them both run. And run out. Well, as I said, I ripped up the agreement with Justin Trudeau, and I know that means that an election is now more likely as a result. We are ready to fight an election whenever it happens, and we'll take the choice to Canadians. The choice is between... Okay, you just said it. ...to tear down the things that you count on. We'll do 
Democrats who want to build it up and give you hope. That is a choice in the next election. The cuts of conservatives under Pierre Polyan. You just said it if an election's called. Well, the only one that's could call it is you in the conservatives. Oh, answer it, yes or no. So he's not going to support a fucking non-confidence vote. I've had enough of your shit. Adios, fuckface. You're a fucking loser. Get back to fucking where you fucking came from. Go support your fucking Palestinian fucking terrorist fucking group. Bye. 